isn't every family dysfunctional, but not every family is as rich as the Roy's, so there's something really fun to watch that money does not make you happy. I think one of the compliments that we get is no one wants to be this rich. This season has to be good enough so that I come back for season four, so I have my fingers crossed. One word that describes your character. Ethical. Ambiguous. In one word. Can I do three? Chief Executive Officer? No. <laughs> what would you do if you are CEO? What would be the first thing you do? Oh, wow. I mean, he already did it on the window in season one. I think he would try to approach the business as close to how his father approached it. Whereas his siblings want to change it. They want to turn it on its head and make it their own because they have something to prove. Roman is like, this works just fine. I think the, the ship sails. You just got to act like Logan. He finally saw that his father has no ethical core and is, a, and is essentially a monster. And that changes something in him. Their relationship develops in um, some pretty sort of desperate ways. All they have is each other. This is a family with a lot of issues, very dysfunctional, rich people with issues, you might say, but there are a lot of shows that talk about that. This one, however, stands out. Why do you think this is a different show in that regard? I think because it's it comes at you from sideways. It doesn't come at you straight on. And you don't realize it until it happens. And you go, oh, then that's the great strength of the show. It's It has a sort of improvising effect. I mean, that you feel that's been happening just to, uh, as you see it. I think people are really fascinated with these people in this show because I think they want to know what it feels like to be on the other side of that one billion dollars. What do you think it takes for anybody to be a part of the Roy family? You have to be blind. You have to be deaf to people's cries. You have to be dumb in your response and you have to have indulged the dark part, a rapacious part, and uh, you'll fit right in.